expertise. You'll find us on stand F08 in Hall 11. So come along and say hello to the team. We would all love to meet you. Order your tickets online today at hochanda.com and we'll see you there. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favorite Hochanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or if you pre-order your kit, you will receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Have, we have got two guests, of course, it is Stamp Addicts, which are one of the companies that well, I have known for years and years and years and years. Sarah and Vicky, hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. How are you? I'm very good. I love your jumper. Thank you. It's really, really <laughs> good. I, really love, I mean, I love your shirt as well, of course, the beautiful <laughs> colours, but of course, we like the cape yes. looks kind of sort of <laughs> like tail. Now, of course, uh, we we have got all brand new stamps in the show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You do. So, are we going to see demos from both of you? Yes. 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 So, which one? do we need to send that first? Me. That would be yeah. 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 So we keep her with us and of course uh, we'll see you back in, in a little bit. Now of course at uh, the first stamp that we are going to have a look is the one that we have got in the screen. Oh it's so cute, so cute. Stamp Addicts of course is a company with years of experience. Yes. Yeah, mm, too many. Yeah. <laughs> lots and lots, lots and lots. What you do is such a, like, I love how you sort of, you know, you to work with an um, artist and mm -hmm. bring super high quality rubber stamps. Now, of course, we are going to show the uh, actual stamp. Look how detailed it is. It's absolutely stunning. Of course, it is designed by Sherry West. It is, it? yes, Sherry West who's our American designer. Oh, <laughs> so she, um, she might be watching? No. I think she might be, yes. Uh, yeah, and the design Hello. team as well, yes. Because uh, maybe uh, we are on Facebook Live, so she might be watching on Facebook. If anybody else watching on Facebook, hello. Uh, do it, you know. Dave is watching, Big. <laughs> I hope that's well done. Uh, hello to everyone. Heather, uh, we are so happy that you are watching through Facebook. And uh, if you have got any questions for uh, Sarah or Vicky or myself, please do email us in or uh, through Facebook. Uh, now, of course, I'm going to show you a few samples of the gorgeous... Oh, no. Jesse with a jar. <laughs> I love that. Jesse with a jar. Now, of course, what's in the jar? Well, that could be a picture on the jar. Oh, And I then you see. can put things in it, because obviously we wouldn't condone putting bugs in jars. Well, of course, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, kind of just kind of by kind of quiet in there. <laughs> by, you know, so I think it's a sticker on the jar. So uh, you put yes. your favourite okay, things yeah, in the jar. That, that yeah. makes a lot of sense, of course. Yeah. Now, and look at that. Oh, she's like him. <laughs> me, but maybe, maybe that, you know, maybe that. She's saving it. Yeah, I think it's she's it's, saving it's it. It's injured, so she's saving it. Flu, yeah. You know, there is a, a mo I don't know still if it's a moth or a butterfly. I think it's a butterfly in my, in my uh, living room. Uh -huh. And she just lives there. Every time I take her outside, she comes back. I don't know yeah. what she is. An indoor one. Yeah. Yeah. Innocent <laughs> indoor one. 220578 is your item number. 11 pounds 99 for a clean form mounted the stamp now of course uh, following that theme of clean for mounted the stamps I'm kind of just gonna show you that oh isn't that glorious a detail and there you have it also designed by Cherry West isn't it? yes so this is harmony so you can see she's got some big wings mm. so she could be a fairy or an angel or she's just dressed up or you could mask the wings and then yeah. you're not using mm -hmm. wings exactly. so you can yeah I love her <laughs> I absolutely love her bit and I, it's I, and I also think that this is quite, is, is, is it realistic sort of fairy, if you know what I mean? You yeah, know what as, as, as real as fairies get. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> it's, just like kind of, it's, it's kind of a little girl at it the same is. time. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's not, sometimes fairy, and I love that kind of, oh, 
can I have uh, chocolate, please? <laughs> a little bit more, please. It's more chocolate. Oh, heartfelt. Always more chocolate. <laughs> yes, of course. Always chocolate. Uh, and then, oh, look at that. Gorgeous in there. So lots of alcohol pens and different colouring techniques. Yes. It depends on what mm -hmm. you like to use, yes. right? So, And I love how it looks with alcohol pens. And of course, the detail is on the stamp. The Stamp Addicts Harmony Clean Rubber Stamp 40666 is your item number 11 pounds and 99 pence now we have got the vintage anglers 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 yes anglers. fishermen oh, of course <laughs> vintage anglers of course fishermen so this oh. one's by terry sherman yeah a scottish designer which is yeah. you know amazing yeah. you, know, you have got such an international team yeah from across <laughs> the pond and across the you know is it what is it the pennines no no what is between here and scotland is that yeah, yeah. a lot of nothing i don't know <laughs> Lots of lakes. <laughs> the Adrian's Wall as well. Uh, anyways, yeah, lakes, rivers, bridges, and so much. Of course, look at that. I love, love this stamp. Alcoholic like, backgrounds. Yes, of course. Yeah. Now, of course, you could use your dis dis uh, distress, distress oxide. Yeah, that's it. This is a technique that I love that when you do that. Stamp it with the distress and then yeah. move it with the water brush. Now, I have to say, this is, I think, my <laughs> favorite. Shrink plastic. But it looks like a painting. And also, if you, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but where Vicky's coloured on the back of the shrink, yeah. it kind of gives it a 3D, because yeah. you've got the black on the front, but the blue on the back. Yeah. So you can see it in the depth. That's amazing. I love that. And of course, there are different ways of colouring in as well, that distress ink and blending that. And that one as well. Gorgeous. The Vintage Anglers stamp. Of course, it is a clean foam mounted rubber stamp. 758342 is your item number. £13.99 is your uh, price. Now, we have got some backgrounds here for you. <gasps> love, 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 love this one. Yes. It's a nice, lace. big, large. But it's like um, lace, isn't it? It is. Yeah, that's what it is. It's lace. This is a stunning. And of course, that is cling foam mounted, but a stamp and emboss. Yeah, so you look at the packaging and it looks quite strong and heavy, but then when you use it, obviously you can use it in so many different ways. It looks like proper lace. Yes. It, yeah. it, it's, it's just, because sometimes when you do it in, you know, lace stamps, they look lace, but they don't look like something that is it's supposed not real to look lace. But this yes. looks proper yeah. lace, and this is a stamp and emboss, but look at that. In, so that's just, just stamped in uh, wilted violet oxide. Yeah. That's it. Gorgeous. How quick and easy. And mm. it's very ethereal and feminine yeah. as well. I think with the green one there, Vicky spritzed it before yeah. she stamped it. But then that so kind gives of gives it this squishy look. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the distress. And, I, I lo and also, I love the size. Is this an A5 sort of size? Like a it's not quite. Okay. It's Yeah. It's bigger than A6, yeah. but not quite A5. 5A7 sort of size. Yeah. Sort of, a little bit bigger, I would imagine. But look at that. And of course, that means that you can trim pieces of it uh, and, you know, cut it into different sizes. 387656 is your item number. £12.99 is your price. Now, the next uh, item... You are, you are getting both of these stamp sets, of course, well, or stamps, and it's the beautiful rose. Is that the demo one that we are going to be seeing? Uh, we'll be using all of the stamps today. <gasps> oh, excellent! <laughs> excellent! I love, I love roses, my favorite flower. And you can see that red, of course, oh, Valentine's at the next week. And some and gold shrink plastic. That's gorgeous. Look at, oh, there's shrink plastic. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I, kind of quickly, but I love that idea of, say, you know, the kind border. of yeah, creating border. And of course, what color of, uh, rose is your favorite then? I had yellow ones at my wedding. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, but they're all nice. They are all yeah. beautiful, yeah. aren't they? And of course, a little. Is that a shrink? string one? Yeah. Oh, it's a ring <laughs> If you want to, yeah, it is a shrink one. I say, so be my Valentine's and I'll shrink it out. No, uh, 563606 uh, is uh, the item number for both uh, rows uh, stamps. £12.49 and pence is your price plus PMP. If you are not a Freedom member, of course, you pay the PMP. If you're a Freedom member, you don't pay PMP. Now, of course, we have got more items on the 
show, I believe, on the website, so you can see them on the uh, there, on the website, everything. We have got also pick a mix of words and sentiments. If you want to have a look at those ones, by all means do that. But if you have got, um, you know, that is ring plastic, you have got the option for that. We have got that uh, ring plastic in metallic, which I believe you are getting four of the silver and four of the gold. And then also you have got the option to go for eight of the clear ones of translucent. And that a masking tape, the Eclipse masking tape, is an extraordinary masking tape. You are getting 10 meters in there and it's quite tall as well. So I think it's about, is it six inches uh, in, hi in height? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so, so. so if you are getting 10 meters by 15 centimeters, something like that. Uh, so there is a lot you can do with them. Uh, and I love it. It's one of those products that you use constantly. It you? really is. And I've got my mask already cut out here. Mm. So all you need to do is unroll, yeah. stick it down to your table, yeah. stamp out the whatever you want to make the mask from. Yeah. And then when you cut it out, you can see, hopefully on mine, yeah. there's no edges. I've yeah. taken off that outside edge. Why is that? Because of when you then put this over your design and stamp again, yeah. you don't get a little shadow gap. Yeah, so you want to cut it is that, yeah, a bit shadow, closer. Yeah. You'll see yeah. as we well, um, start to stamp these out and uh, use okay. the mask. So we're going to create a whole background yeah. just using the roses. Okay. So let's get this nice thick ink. Get, so the roses. Remember, you are getting the you are getting two. You are getting the large one and the smaller rose, of course, in there. And then yes. There we go. Like press down. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So that's the first one. So we're going to yeah. grab one of these masks. Um, and, and then, of course, the eclipse it, it stays uh, low tack tape, a uh, low tack uh, sticky, but for a long time, doesn't it? It does. That's why I just. I mean, this is shrink, sh shrink plastic, yeah. so you could just stick it on a piece of acetate yeah. or anything plastic and keep it. Oh, yeah. that's perfect. Yeah. So you can actually see the outline mm. that I stamped. Mm -hmm. So you want to see that so that you don't get a gap in between okay. the next stamp. So I'm going to go with the large mm. rose again. Um, Okay, we'll just overlap it a little bit there. Okay, yeah. There we go. So again, we're going to cover that one. We're going to fill the whole page. Yeah. The whole page with a beautiful flower. And I love that masking technique because then it means that they, you have got like a proper bunch of flowers, right? You do. And you, so you're going to see that first one, the yeah. whole flower. Yeah. And the others will be behind. So this yeah. time I'm using the small. So I'm going to make sure I get one complete flower there, so it stands forward. Yeah. Then we'll get more around it. So now, mm -hmm. now, of course, the uh, you have used a different color ink in for the masking, haven't you? That is that kind of a brown sepia tone or oxide or ink? Whichever ink you have to hand, really. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I tend to try not to use the black, just so you can see the pattern. Ah, right. That's I a very good tip. As I stamp over with the black. They'll yeah. just start to use, lose the pattern, so you have to just use the outer yeah. edge of it. Uh, so yeah. let's go some small flowers on this side. Yeah. And mask that one yeah. again. Okay. Um, we can go another large okay. over this side. Okay. Fill some of the space. Yeah. Um, yeah. uh, just to let you know that the Eclipse are a masking tape roll, uh, 10 meters in total. You, I think it's about 15 centimeters in height. So it goes a long, long way. Uh, the details are at the bottom of the screen. Nine, 19 pounds and 99 pounds for uh, the roll. Mm, there we go, just that way. Yes. And it's, it's one of those ones that I, you know, I think I purchased a long time ago and it kept, keeps on going, keeps on going. Also, I use sometimes, I use mm -hmm. like to tear it a, a bit as a low tack tape for securing my dies into. Yes, yeah, great you know, for your dies, yeah. it really so it never is. Damages yes. it never damages it, even if you put it. And then, of course, you can, I also put it onto, um, you know, remove a the backing of a, sh uh, a sticker sheet or something like that mm -hmm. and then die cut it and because it's paper it die cuts really easily yeah and then you can just uh, have blended into uh, like a stencil like you know like yeah like like your yeah. 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 yeah that works yes there are so many different ways is, is this one of those products that if you have been stamping for a while you will know it it's one of those key products i i love it it's, it's one of the 
it's one of those staples that you need to have in your stash, I think. It is. Stamper. Yes, once you've used it, you, you always just go yeah. to grab that and yeah. to do your masking and things. Yeah. yeah. And you use one of the shrink of plastic um, yes. <laughs> to keep them in. <laughs> yeah, keep them all nice and flat for today. Yeah. But usually I'll put them on the sheet with yeah. the stamps. That's a very good tip. If, yeah. I've got, if you've got a laminated yeah. sheet that you keep them on, mm -hmm. then yeah, just put them on there. Keep them with it with the wood block stamps. I used to keep them on the wood side. Yeah. So, there we go. Right, so we get to reveal now. Let's see. Keep ah, all those. Yeah. So you can see now you're losing the pattern on there. Yeah. But that's fine. You can just keep using could it. You, if, if you had them like this, for instance, before you remove mm -hmm. them, could you colour that and then colour the next one up? Sure. So then you can create. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. You could cover them all different. Yeah. So that you can use. Yeah. yeah. So you can see we've got a complete yeah. flower there, oh, wow. and yeah. the rest are just hiding behind. How is this? You know, like I, I just think it's, it's there amazing. There we go. Look at that. Look, look at that. And I love that top tip of cutting it really close to the edge. Well, inside the edge, so you get no gapping whatsoever. Yeah. And that's one of the, uh, the other good reasons about mm -hmm. this masking tape that is really. Thin. Yeah, it's, it's very thin. Yeah, it's a thin paper with exactly. just a low tack on the back. Yes, but it's all over as well, so there mm -hmm. is no like, that lifting of the part. You know, yeah. if you are using a sticky note, mm. sometimes it's just on one side. So if you don't stand carefully, you may not have a sticky note all of it. Yeah, yeah, they only have a little bit on them, don't they? So I'm just going to leave that to the side. Yeah. Okay. And next, we're going to use our silver shrink plastic. Oh yeah, we do have got we have got an option. I think that one comes with four sheets of the silver and four sheets of the gold. Yes, gold and silver. Yeah. Yes. I have. I don't think I have seen a gold and silver shrink plastic. It's been a while oh. since I have. Mm. There's no colouring required. Yeah, no, ah, absolutely. Oh, that stays on ink. The, the almond smell. smell. Mm. <laughs> Love that the smell. <laughs> okay. There we go. So I'm using a stays on yeah. so that it dries nice and quickly. Yeah, so I'm going to do one on. large. I know some people don't like it, but I, I absolutely adore stays on. It's really good when you're going on to shrink plastic. Yeah. And yeah, yeah any yeah. sort of surfaces that are shiny, it'll dry pretty quickly. Do you quick. need to let, did you let them dry before you cut them around? Or? Yeah, I'd give it a minute or two just yeah. to make sure it is dry. Yeah. And there we go. Let's see if this one's dry. My but it is very important not to uh, to cut. Well, basically, you need to let them dry, then cutting them, and then heat uh, drying them. Yes, don't heat set. Do not heat set. <laughs> yeah, because if you heat set, then it's kind of. Yeah, strange. we always get asked this yeah. one. So trimming these, I leave a little border around yeah. the edge. You don't need to go very close. You're using the proper squeezers. <laughs> I, yeah, this is, this is what I use for most things. Yeah. So whichever scissors you like, but these yeah. ones work for me. My sister doesn't like them, yeah. but I do. Yeah, well, it's, it's you know, everyone's, everywhere's yeah, different. Exactly, um, everyone's. I have got a, a no, <laughs> are the enormous amount of scissors, and I kind of realised that one of my favourite scissors, I lost them. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. I did lose these. My son borrowed these and lost them for months. So I had to get another pair. Mm -hmm. And then I finally found them again. Mm -hmm. So I have more than one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so nearly there. There we go. Right. And so then you this trim is the it, fun yeah. bit. Oh, yeah. So this heat gun's quite slow. It doesn't yeah. blast yeah. as long as the, um, like the long ones yeah. do. So you might need to hold them a bit further yeah. away. Or you can always pop it in the oven. Yeah. There's instructions yeah. on the pack so you know how to tell oh, you what, how long, what temperature. Oh, 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 is it going, oh. Sometimes, like for a flower, it looks quite nice when it has got that dimension as well. It does. I'm going to try and leave them a little bit of shade. Now, if, it, if you stop now, would it draw, would it stay that shape? Yes. Okay. It would just go hard, but you can reheat it and, and bend and it bend once it, yeah. it's soft again. But once that is shrinks, it doesn't come big again now. No, it won't go big again. No, it just so. goes down. Turn over. There we go. It's kind of bending in the wrong direction, so I'm just going to quickly push yeah. that. It's quite warm. Ah, so you can keep it. While it's warm, yeah. you can just bend it a little bit. It's cooled down now, so and it's And if you hard. want it completely flat, do you have any chop tabs on how? Oh, if you want it flat, just use a, an acrylic block yeah. just to press it gently. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to go too hard yeah. and squash it. Yeah. I'm going to pop mm. that one aside and then we've got a couple of little ones. 
So that was, let me show you how, uh, so if I put them in there here, that's a large one. And oh, look, look how gorgeous with the metallic from this ring plastic comes out. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh. And of course you are doing now the smaller flowers. Yeah, this is the smaller of them. So is it about, you know, 40% of the size or something like that, this ring plastic? Yes, yeah, about that, yeah. 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 You know what a friend of mine did, and she loved it, she used to do a lot of string plastic. So she do cut a piece of uh, uh, string plastic, and she would do that for every every different type of uh, string plastic. Draw on a, with a ruler. Yes. Yeah. yes, yes. Draw the mile, and then yeah. shrink it up, so she would know mm -hmm. how big she had to start off the piece. Like, so if yeah. you wanted how much it would just shrink. Yes, yeah, so if you measure it with your regular ruler, yeah. then you can look at your shrink one and see how small it's going to yeah. go. Yep. You <laughs> should, and if you do that, you should do it with all different brands because oh, yeah. they do shrink Absolutely. at different rates. Now, some if of you them. stop like this, can you imagine pouring a little bit of embossing powder in there or something like that? That would you be could amazing. Do. That would be fun. Yeah. I'm just going to heat it from the back just to get rid of that little bit. Yeah. Or uh, maybe go. like, um, yeah. Little gem in the middle. Yeah, a gem in the middle. Yeah, yeah a little sparkle so in there yeah. would be nice, wouldn't it? So we've got our three flowers there. So that one's got a nice little shape to it. Okay, so I've got some card to mount this on. Um, I've got a little bit of Martin and Larry. Yeah. I love, I love this. It's just, it's such a beautiful flower, the rose. And of course, it is so many, like so many pe different people. It's their favorite flower. Uh, you know, like um, our um, producer's grandma, mm -hmm. I think yeah. it is. Uh, her name is Rosa. Uh -huh. uh, Rosa, Rose, Rose. Uh, I remember one of our friends, uh, Sandra, mm, who is now in America. Uh, uh, he, uh, his, gr both his grandmothers were Rosas, which is uh, Italian or and Spanish for Rose as well. Yeah, our grandma was a Rose. Yeah. Uh, I've actually done a little shrink plastic tag here with some words on as well. Uh, of course, the sentiments are uh, part of a pick and mix option. So you have got in here. Uh, so you can have there. You can see the different stamps. You can choose any two, uh, and there are different options. There are some Christmas, but there are some that are, of course, all year round. Um, now, of course, you have got all those ones that are the Christmas. Uh, but then we have got a Happy Birthday uh, that applies to so many people. Um, it's scientifically proven that people who are have more birthdays live longer i love that one <laughs> yeah, <that's great. laughs> yeah and then of course you have got the uh, love that scripted panels well perfect for backgrounds as well remember you pick and choose whichever two are your favorite for 13 pounds and 98 pence and this so is the beautiful look at that and that's one of the options that you can so any sentiment you mm -hmm. can just rank it in size yep. and it still is perfectly legible Yes, yeah, that still works, yeah, as long as you've That's got a nice bold beautiful. writing on there. I think it's, there, it's the gold version over yeah. there as well. I think We've there got the is gold a, shrink ooh, as yeah, well. That's a really so you can see both the gold yeah. and the silver together Look there. Look at that. So yeah. because you're getting four sheets of the gold and four sheets of the silver, the, uh, at the bottom of the screen, they will appear the details for that string plastic. I really love the gold as well. So you remember, you're getting both the gold and the silver in that bundle. And if you want to go for the vintage rose, the details are on the left of the, your screen. Now, of course, uh, we have got other items on the show, including those bending tools, blending tools, not bending tools. <laughs> uh, of course, you have got uh, in there, you have got the, I love the disc that you have got that velcro uh, or lip and hook uh, you know sorts of mechanisms so you can hold all the different colors in there and then you have got the tools on the other side which is perfect we also have got a tool a storage as well so MDF which we have got it's like a t really lovely holder as well and I love it because you can see them what exactly color you're gonna get $12.99 and you're getting two which will hold I think is it eight of them Two, four, eight. Yes. Correctly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Correct, yeah. Uh, first, twelve ninety nine for them. So, and then last for, but not least, a stamp Rama. Yes. A Stevenage. Ooh. If you want to get your ticket for that, it's six, eight, uh, next Friday, uh, next Sunday, and um, some companies that are going to be there. 
May, uh, Sam Panics, you are going to make yes. them take. Yes, we are. We don't know what yet. But. Well, Yanis <laughs> is going to make an appearance as he well. Is, yes. Yanis, yeah, of course, Howie Art, Sweet Poppy Stencils, Joe Channon, Daisy B Crafts, Crafty Roo Designs is going to mean do another um, make and take. Uh, crafty Play, uh, so there is Honey Do uh, Crafts as well. Oh, there's so many. Dolly, uh, yeah, there's yes, so many. Yeah. Quite a few. Yeah. And it's only it's two fifty if you buy the ticket in advance. So that's I mean, fabulous. Claudia is going to be there, <laughs> and Sam K as well. It is going to be there. So fabulous. Okay. okay. So I'm using the lace background, okay. and the this is a clear embossing ink pad. Mm -hmm. Now there is a lot of detail on this. Now. Uh, yeah. Like hence the hingy thing. Uh huh. The hingy thing. The hingy thing. I love it. Yeah, the stamp thing. From all the stuff, you know, this stamp thing. Yeah. The hingy yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, well this is, is, the press to me is the one with sponge feet. Oh, I see. So, so the everyone calls them something different. Yeah. So if you, if well, I, I think this one is the Crafts 2 one. It is. So it is called uh, Press Sam to Impress. Press to Impress, yeah. Yes. That's mm. what it's called, but yeah. I can never remember that. Yes. <laughs> well, you did now. I did. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Some like me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the hingy thing and the sponge feet. Yeah. Okay. Those are the, <laughs> the spongy thing. Well, yeah. at least it's not like Leone. <laughs> Leone goes like, uh, can you to do that? that? And you can't see that. Yeah. My Versa mark's quite dirty, oh. so you can just see yeah. a little bit. Perfect. But because there's so much detail, I will stamp it two or three times okay. before it dries. Okay. Usually, I would have this on a lower table yeah. when, when I stand. Okay. <laughs> yeah. More pressure. More pressure. Yeah. Oh, oh perfect. yes. Perfect. So we can pop that out, and we're going to put white powder on it. The thing is with those, those stamp presses or, or platforms, I find it that if you have got a more rigid, um, stable table, usually it's yes. better. But this one is a little bit squishy. It, it does bend a bit, doesn't it? Does it does bend, yeah, it's a bendy <laughs> counter. I don't know if that sounds all right, but oh, look at the white embossing powder. Into there, yeah. So, uh, yeah, a little bit extra. Okay. So you can't really see a lot at the minute because yeah. it's white on white. Yep. Yeah. It's like a wedding dress, isn't it? It's just beautiful. I didn't have any lace on mine. Well, I didn't have on my dress, but I had a veil, so... Uh, I know mm. I didn't bother. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Mm. I didn't get very modern, but I didn't do a veil. Um, so, we're melting the powder, so then we can add the colour afterwards, like some of the samples you showed. Yeah. yeah. You've got the lace, which yeah. is often white. Yeah. But then with colour behind it, because people tend to lay them over a different fabric, don't they? Yeah. But it just makes for a nice, soft, subtle background. Mm -hmm. Especially with the girls, Jessie and Harmony, because they have so much detail. You don't mm. want to uh, detract mm. from that too much. Okay. And obviously, mm. a big stamp takes a while. Yeah, no, <laughs> exactly. But I wasn't hot enough. Yeah, no, I, it's one of those things that I can watch air all day long. Now, uh, now of course we can see that once I will, it will, um, you know, yeah, be completely done. I think that like. one was actually an alcohol ink background that Vicky had left over, oh. and then she just stamped it on the top. It's just quick and easy, but it's just beautiful. Because she was sitting there playing with alcohol inks for a few yeah. hours, yeah. which got quite stinky. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah. And okay. then, yeah. Almost there. A little bit. Ah, look at that mountain. That, eh? I, I love embossing powders. It's, it's just so... Oh, we, we love the Judikins ones because yeah. of the, the quality. And yeah. they don't flatten if you overheat oh. them. They stay, which is nice. Okay, so a little bit of shaded lilac. Okay, shaded lilac. Distress oxide. So, take my sponge. Okay. And then we're just gonna yes, it's cool down. Just go in gently from the side. Yeah. Oh, oh. So yeah, you can that's see. That's gorgeous. I love this color. Well, our. Mm. <laughs> and of course, you, you are using the blending tools. Of course, we do have got those ones. They come in a little case as well. Uh, now you are getting two of the blending tool and one. Uh, uh, Right, so what you are getting is the tool, ca the tool case, <laughs> and then you, you don't you get in, and then you are getting four, eight, four eight, handles, four handles, yeah, okay, eight foams, uh, five mini ink blending tools, 
and 12 uh, blending forms. That's correct. Okay. Right? Yeah, they can look on the website. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that one. Right? Yeah. I just saw kind of the picture did say show a little bit less, but my producer was telling me, so more. that's just why I kind of. So I always wipe off afterwards because yeah. sometimes the ink sits on top of the embossing. Oh, yeah. So then you've got that nice contrast there. But what I've done is I've left a blank area oh. in the middle for Jessie. Oh, Jessie. So we'll just pop that aside. Jessie with a jar. Jessie with a jar, yes. Yeah. With a jar of treats. Yeah, treats, and it's just a stick out of the mouth. It's not, it's not, it's not. Or maybe it's just taking the mouth. Maybe it's her she's, pet. She's releasing it's it like into me. the wild. No. Like you. Maybe it's like you. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's just, yeah. It's like, okay, that's mm -hmm. fine. Jesse, and uh, this time I'm going to stamp on some vellum. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to pop Jesse in okay. the middle of the vellum. Okay. All right. Pick it up, and I'm just going to stamp her in black. Now again, because there yeah. is so many little oh, yeah. tiny details. Yeah. I would recommend the hingy thing. The hingy thing. Yeah, a stamp, a, a stamp press platform, whatever you call it. <laughs> the a stamp press so. platform. Hey, you know, I'll convert you by the yeah, end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yes, right. Well, there, each one has got its own name. I, uh, you know, and each it's funny because yeah. I used to have a. Uh, you remember Quickets? That had oh, that yes. kind of the letter press system that I was when I was in two thousand and eight, nine. Um, no, I just had in my sorry, sorry. That that will be long. It's because my my two thousand and eight, and I said two thousand and eight. <laughs> And my face went like, because my director said, she I wasn't was born. Oh, I was she was, oh, she was alive. <laughs> and I was already, and, and you know. Uh, but, she put you off your, your, your floor but, then. Okay, so know. a quick heat set. Now I've done it on the vellum because I'm not a colorist. I'm not very good with the alcohol pens. I can just do little yeah. bits. So the easiest way for me to color yeah. um. is on the back of the vellum. Okay. And I can use yeah. the stronger. Yeah colors and I don't have to worry too much about the shading mm -hmm. okay whereas you've got we yeah. have some very talented people color samples for us yeah they okay. sat there for I don't know how many yeah. hours I know and then you coloring on the back of on the, the back yeah. yeah so when you turn it over you have got you've that got the nice mm -hmm. soft yeah and of course that of means that if you you don't have to be as carefully coloring in because the lines are not going to contaminate, you know. Them. That's right, yeah. So the, the line, and yeah. there's so much detail that I don't think... Yeah. Well, you could change the different bits. Is that mm -hmm. her flesh? Is that her, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's lots of options. Yeah. So. Yeah. While I'm kind of, do you want to bring some more samples yeah. over? We could. Yeah, we are going to show a few more of Jessie with the jar, of course. Um, and I think she's quite cute. I mean, is, is she kind of saying, oh, look at that. She's look like, what I found. Look what I found. <laughs> Would you like some? Or she could be trick-or-treating. Please put sweets yeah. in my jar. Otherwise, I will go and steal moths. Like, mm. Yes, look. And then you can see that. I'm just wondering, you know, you know uh, those. I'm, I'm thinking also. You know those ones that they light up. What was it Fireflies. Called? Fireflies. So she's captured a firefly, just you know, trying to catch her her flight, and then she's letting it free as she should. Look at that. Have you seen fireflies? They're tiny. Yes, yes, I, 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 They're amazing, I, aren't they? Yeah, I remember the first time in in, and I was about fourteen. I think I was in America. I saw them. Yeah. They were, they are just, so yeah, it's like shooting the stars, but at this level, right? It's just <laughs> kind of magical, yeah. Yeah. So you can color onto the vellum with your different pens yeah. or... Okay. These are, are pigment pens, but... And you can see I'm not being very careful. <laughs> oh, that's a darker one, but... Okay. Two-tone, okay. let's shade in a bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And of course you could use other types of colouring methods for... Yes. Yeah. I mean, you could just sponge on ink with yeah. your oxides. And oh, yeah. That could be quite cool. Yeah. So, when I, have, I need to colour her hair. Okay. But then she's going to go on top. Uh -huh. 
that's of that. Shall I, uh, shall I let, let you colour the, her, the hair? Yeah. And, and uh, here's, here's a different colour version oh, I did. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, I'm over there. Someone, oh, that was quick. Magical, magical. So well, okay. I can finish this one while yeah. you're with Vicky and oh, then I'll show you later. Yeah. But this Perfect. is one I made earlier. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, of course, if, was, if you want Jesse with your cling stamp, the digital flower on the screen, 11 99 is your price. Of course, you can jump ahead to the website and have a look at closely at other items, including that Eclipse masking tape. Now, of course, there is 10, uh, 10 uh, meters in there. Look at those five star reviews that you have got in there. Now, of course, you have got all the different, uh, you know, reviews from different um, customers, happy customers. Great product. This brilliant. Does not mar the paper when removing. That's a very important part, point as well. Really handy product to have in your stash and so easy to use. Any of those ones could have been ones that, um, you know, somebody like, well, there are people who have purchased the product and have fallen in love so much that they have left a reviews of five star reviews. So that is what how gorgeous this product is. Uh, now, of course, uh, Stamp Addicts brings us amazing quality rubber stamps, deeply edged and beautifully commissioned artwork by different artists, including the uh, Jesse with the Jar by Sherry West. Of course, is the American based in the USA, but has got the beautiful artwork in here that you can see that Stamp Addicts manufacture in house, and they have got the cling foam mounted. And then, of course, you can just attach to your acrylic block or a stamp press or clingy thing or a hangy thing or whatever it is that you call them. 220578 is your item number. £11.99 is the price for Jesse with Jar and of course you know, I, I kind of love, now look, uh, look at that, how gorgeous it is there. You don't see that, I love. Now, whether you're coloring in with pencils, whether you're using your oxides, whether you're using watercolor bra markers, whether you are using alcohol markers, it's up to you, your the effects will be depending on that. Then we are moving on to Harmony, apparently. Uh, Harmony is that beautiful fairy in here that you have got. I, I love her because I think it's something very innocent about this fairy. It's something very dramatic and kind of whimsical, but at the same time, kind of realistic. And I love all these qualities. Of course, you can, like Irene has made this card, gorgeous here, you can see, um, you know, with alcohol markers. You can put it into larger sets of uh, cards, uh, maybe this is an eight by eight sort of size. And you can see how you can change the color of the hair, right about into smaller cards. And this is kind of, you know, what is she thinking? Is she sending her thank you? Look at that. And then different uh, romantic uh, fragrance in there. And look, dare to dream. Perfect sentiment for this gorgeous card. 406669 is your item number. £11.99 for that rubber stamp with the beautiful cling uh, uh, foam in the back. So you can attach it directly into your uh, acrylic blocks or stamp platforms. Now, the Vintage Anglers is one of the most popular stamps, of course, of the hours that beautiful artwork by Terry Sherman, the Scottish artist in uh, Stamp Addicts um, collection. And you can see the a beautiful great rubber. And then of course, the impressions are absolutely beautiful. You can see in there how gorgeous it is. And it's just, I love how, it, you know, there are scenes within the scene. You could trim them up and then just kind of highlight them, a spotlight on them as well. Stamp with this dress, maybe vintage photo or something like that, and then just blend those lines with water, creating like a vintage, um, you know, in print from an old book. And look at that, a stamping and coloring in to a drink plastic, and it becomes like a, a glass stain uh, painting. I want to show you this one as well. Alcohol whole inks on the background and it's just that kind of vibrancy of the uh, sunset 758342 is your item number it's 13 pounds and 99 pence is your price now then we have got the lace background in here which is absolutely glorious i love this is probably my top favorite although i do love the vintage anglers as well now i love it because it is a large size it's a very detailed and it gives you that background that you can have very romantic very feminine but you can see it in here and then you can have got maybe stamp over um, alcohol inks as Vicky has done here maybe use your watercolors after stamping and embossing and it creates a perfect backdrop for those beautiful roses a very feminine ethereal nature of course is the proper lace 
But what about using your oxides and then blending, spritzing a little bit of water, making it a little bit more of a distressed background. But look, simplicity itself, how stunning is that? Stamp with distressed oxides and just put a sentiment on the top and there you have it, a perfect card to send and say thank you. 387656 is your item number 12 pounds and 99 pence. Now, of course, we have got the rose option here for you, or rosa, or rosa, if it's your Spanish, rosa. Uh, now you are getting two rosas, um, you are getting the large, uh, large uh, rosa and the small rosa, roses, ro ro roses, roses. That's the correct way, isn't it? Uh, now, of course, you are getting the gorgeous, and you can see how it's uh, so useful to have both sizes because you sometimes you want a little one for the corner and a stunning bunch, little bunch in here. A stamp on rice paper. Look how gorgeous that looks in stamp and embossed. And of course, it creates then kind of use water brushes around the edges and then it frays. I think that's how it's done. Um, I, I think so. Oh, anyway, yeah. stamp and to the last three largest, and I absolutely adore the same. I think this is kind of like Vicky was showing, masking those, those, those beautiful flowers. And then you can see in there, change a little bit of the color and everything transforms it. 563606 uh, six is your item number. 12 pounds of 49 pence is your item number. And then we have got, of course, the storage, um, the blending uh, blending tool a storage set of two you're gonna get two of them of course yours will be you you are not gonna get the blending tools or the painted ones so you are gonna get sorry something like this and you're getting a set of two of course in not painted they're gonna be naked as I call it naked MDF so then you can colorize and paint it in any color you want it and of course you can see how beautifully the blending tools will fit inside it so you can access them all completely perfectly whichever one you want to 12 pounds and 99 for a set of two eight eight nine zero six six is your item number now of course if you want to know we sometimes we mentioned that you can spread the cost of some items and it is a great way of spreading the cost now here is Leonie to tell you a bit more about flexi order flexi order has arrived at her chanda what is flexi order when you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. And of course, that's spreading because it does make it easy. Now, what are you going to be do doing? So we've got some glossy card. Okay. This is you pay this yeah. one. We're going to do an alcohol background. Ooh, we, we Just make it a bit of a mess, yeah, really. I mean, yeah. A bit of a play around. Everyone's been blowing the alcohol ink, so I thought I'd give that a go. Yeah. It's funny how so. things come back in fashion and now everybody's going back to alcohol ink. Yeah, well, you know. So I'm just starting with some of the blending yeah. solution. Of course, we had um, um, Joe from the Glass Hat yesterday with non-toxic alcohol inks as well. So do have that would a probably watch. be a lot better than yeah, these. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, well, it, 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 I mean, this one's of course just be careful with anything that is um, alcohol. Please read the, always the labels. But I mean, this one's for um, and some people prefer to use um, gloves and stuff like that. But, yes. You know. yeah. but, See, the blowing is quite difficult. You could use a straw, yeah. but you, you won't, there's the risk of breathing yeah. in more yeah. of the alcohol. So, just going to add a little bit more blending on there. So, what I found yeah. is my balloon pump. Oh! With my daughter's birthday coming up, I had it handy. Okay. So, we can just move the car around. I so. saw. Yeah, I was just playing around. See, fun. I have got um, from I kind of I like photography, and, mm -hmm. and I had a like a, a photographer's, um, you know, like oh, the little puffer puff blower. Yeah, puff yeah, yeah, that would Sorry, be perfect. Yeah, that would, yeah, that would. I didn't have one of those. Yeah, I've got one of those. 
Oh, yes. Well, that works really well. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have the I balloon pump yeah, handy exactly. for the balloons. Well, Elizabeth, so. I love that. So I'm going to add a little bit of green on there. There we go. It's not a lot of control oh. with this one. You could use little droplets and just yeah. drop it neatly where you like. And of course, you're using different manufacturers' alcohol inks, and they all work really well. Oh, yeah. look at that. All the different types do work together. I'm just going to give that a little blow around. Look at that. Just to spread oh. it a little bit. See, I have got a bunch of alcohol inks and I just need to go on and create backgrounds, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, so I always wanted to move it yeah. before but couldn't really. So the air is a brilliant idea. Yeah. So that's going to take a little while to dry. So yeah. I'm just going to set that over Let there. Let it dry. And I've got one that's yeah. already dry. Oh, it's a bit wet under there as well. Well, I mean, get everywhere, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's crafting. I don't think, you know, nobody. So much no, we're all crafters. Mm. So here's one oh. that I did before that's yeah. all nice and dry. Yeah, nice. Yeah, using the um, blending solution, it does take a little yeah. while, but not too long. Yeah. So I've got our angle as seen in here. Yeah. And mm. which way do I want? I want the blue up the yeah. top there. That's it. Yeah. There we go. Mm. Then I am using my archival. I do find this best when you're stamping okay. over the alcohol inks because yeah. it's a shiny surface and alcohol. So you would use archival for this and not a stays on? Yes. Yeah, um, stays on is alcohol based. Y yeah. Whereas the archival is oil based, so oh, it sits on the surface nicely. Yes. Okay. Your water base should sit on the top, but they may not dry because of the type of Got glossy it. paper. Yeah. So it's just play around with some little yeah. bits really but I know the archiver works really well so I'm sticking with that one okay so probably need a couple of yeah a, a hybrid bit more. would work as well because a hybrid is, is um, um, yes yeah well it actually our archival is a hybrid yeah so archival yeah. is a hybrid I did try another one I had to heat set it oh, whereas okay. this one dried quite quickly oh, okay. yeah, that's a good so point. it was just my choice yeah, to yeah. use this yeah, but yeah lots would Lots of different ones yeah. work if you've got time to let them dry. Yeah. So I think we've got a good covering this time. Oh, oh yeah, well, that looks that nice there, doesn't it? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Let's take that one out. <gasps> could you? I do just leave the paper in there for when the dirty stamps ah, in there, just because I'm not changing mine all the time yeah. at the moment. Well, could you mm -hmm. stamp first and then use the alcohol inks over the top? No, they would cover it. Okay. They would cover over your image. Okay. That's so I've just trimmed this one down. Mm. So, yeah, just trimming off all the edges of that one, just neatly yeah. down. And I'll mount that one up. So I've got some black mm. layering because I stamped in the black and then yeah. a bit of blue and silver just to really show the colours up. There you go. Um, yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's gorgeous. I love that. That's beautiful. The sky and the good, oh, it's absolutely stunning. If you want to go to the vintage anglers, uh, the stamp and uh, did it are on the screen. Uh, 758342, 13 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Of course, you can see it on the screen. The beautiful gray rubber uh, detail. I just love this scene. It's just, it's just again, another quintessentially a British image in there that you can use. Whether it's from Scotland or from the England or from even if it's Wales, it is always really pretty and very a very beautiful image of course it's ring plastic is a one popular item that span Alex brings us here we have got options you have got eight sheets of string plastic so you can go for the eight sheets of the clear one you can go in for other options the sanded one so it has got oh, oh, uh, which is the one that I think Sarah is going to be using then you have got the white gold or silver remember if you wanted to have a taster of the, the gold and silver you can go for that option in which you have got four of the gold and four of the uh, of the silver however if you wanted eight of the of the same ones you can actually do that so for instance if you wanted just eight of the silver you go for the previous item now we have got a few oh, how many few minutes just nine minutes nine minutes so oh, okay, okay that's all right so yes this is the sand and i'm yeah. stamping on the shiny side okay where's that no because I'm going to colour on ah, the other side. Um, and as great as stays on is to use on plastic, it's not always great to colour yeah. with in the stays on. 
So yeah, we, okay. we try and do it on the opposite side if possible. I mean, if you use alcohol pens, definitely yeah. has to be on the opposite side. Of course. Otherwise, it bleeds with yes, the stays yeah, yeah. on because yeah, solvent and solvent. That's what you use. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's big. You explain it. Yeah, but it is a kind of a, a drier, stickier kind yeah. of ink pad yeah. as well. So it it takes a bit of getting used to. I always think with ink pads, the best oh. thing to do, I would say, is always experiment yourself because. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the times, like I have got a friend, uh, a couple of friends that are extremely, extremely, uh, you know, experts. But, but everything they have t told me doesn't work for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. then it's like, yeah, that works for you. But whatever works for somebody else doesn't mm. mean that. No, you know, so. no, that's right. Vicky, can I steal your stays on? Yeah, I'll, I'll Mine's dried up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab it. Yeah, yeah. We have Less. to re-ink them um, uh, when we we're using they them. They dry very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, it's the type of ink yeah. that uh, that's that is wetter. There we go. But it's just the best thing for drying on yeah. the plastic. It is. So until they come out with something. Yeah. Sorry. And, and the smells. Are yeah. <laughs> the smell. The almond smell. Um, yeah. It is a fast drying solvent based ink. So yeah. It's yeah. We've never found one as good. Which yeah, is on, on yeah on the shrink and on the, the, you, on, on you know we yeah. do a lot of shrink exactly so we do love mm. our shrink uh, it's also on acetate printable acetate yes. um, some things like um, I use it for all sorts of things the other thing I like is if you use uh, acetate through an embossing folder oh yes and then you just rub the stays on over one side yes. and then you so put on the my uh, mica powder Ooh. Because it takes a few min minutes, like three to five minutes to dry. Yeah. It has got some stickiness, so you c it will uh -huh. attach the mica into acetate. Yes. So, so if I put that underneath, yeah. you wow. can see yeah. the, detail. the image. Yeah. So I've, I've cut one out ready. Yep. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to turn her over. Yeah. And then colour with my... I'm using chalk pencils, but yeah. you could use your alcohol pens. Okay. Um, but with the... The chalk pencils. You add the colour, yeah. and then blend, blend it around. And then, so it's just will soft. the pastel chalk pencils stay in when you shrink it? Yes. Yeah, they stay on there when you shrink it. But also, you've got to remember because you can hardly see any yeah. colour that I'm putting on yeah. there because the colour intensifies. Of because course. when they manufacture the shrink, they yeah. take a big roll of plastic and then they yeah. stretch it. Oh, I see. So when we heat it, it's going back to its original size. Oh, I see. But that's why, and then the, so the colour all gets squished together them. and yep. it gets stronger. Ah, so, so that's intensifies because of pigment. Yes. There's more concentration of pigment, therefore that's it appears right. to be darker. Yes. That makes a lot so, of sense. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we only found that out recently. We, we, we never realised how. Extreme plastic was made. Yeah. It's fascinating what you it can is. learn at it the is. trade shows. <laughs> yeah, it is. And it's, it's just it really, sometimes it's, it's, it doesn't matter how long or how little, how, how short time you have been in the industry or what, or stamping or crafting. You know, you can learn so much and there is always something. Oh, there's always something. We have had something. an email actually. Uh, Steve is <laughs> loving all the new stamps. Hello, Steve. Hi, Steve. And of course, uh, he's looking forward to seeing both of you as Sam Prama and I, yep, next Sunday. Yes. Uh, on the, yep. It's come around quickly already. Yeah, well, it, life goes so quickly. I didn't mean it. It's just everything is like, oh, Valentine's Day. Then it's going to be Easter, and then it's going to be. You know. And yeah. then, of course, you are going to be running uh, Ali Pali in August. Yes. Yeah, Craftorama at yeah. Ali Pali. <laughs> I'm very excited about yes. it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's going to be it's a bit different to Stamparama. We'll have yeah. more variety in crafts, mm -hmm. and it's going to be bigger. Mm -hmm. So it's on for a whole weekend. Okay. So, book book your hotel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I love that venue as well. It's just kind of different, isn't it? Yeah, it, it was mm. local for us as when we were growing up. Yeah. Oh, I see. So, ice skating on a on a Sunday, mm. just get the bus down there. Yeah. Yeah. So Has we got the one one of the best views of London as well. Oh, like it's hell, amazing! Yeah. So in the summer, you sit there with an ice cream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looking at London. Or rolling down the hill. That's what oh, we used to yeah. do. <laughs> as, as kids, that's what you did. You rolled down the hill. Yeah. 
That would do it now. I think I bought my first uh, cutting mat uh, there, and it was a massive one. I still have got it, of course. I don't throw it. Well, I throw. It's very hard for me to throw things no, away. No. But you could um, share them with another crafter. That's what I do. <laughs> um, yeah. I, yeah. So. Uh, so. Look, of course, uh, oh, the mm. Harmony Clean Stamp is the one that uh, Sarah is using here. But I wanted to remind you of the Rose Stamp, of course, that we have not here on. And look at that. I just love those ones. They yeah, are. Indeed. There's so much detail in them. It is. Now, of course, we are going to show you exactly uh, what you are getting. So you are getting, remember, grey rubber stamps in here, cling foam mounted, ready to use. Do you trim a little bit around these stamps? I would recommend yeah. that people trim them before they use them. So mm -hmm. as close as you can to the design yeah. without touching Change the design. The one, yeah. Because yeah. uh, then you've got less chance of over inking and yeah. getting edges. Okay. Some people you'd use a knife. Yeah. So yeah. remember to check out your baskets, whichever uh, you know item you have got. Remember that they do. Um, you know, when when are you back? Uh, oh, um, next month. Next month. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. We're, we're in every month. Oh uh, yeah. We're booked on up until the summer. Oh good. So, yeah. And then we go on holiday. Oh good. 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 <laughs> Thank goodness you're getting a holiday after Ali Pali. Oh, nice. One. I think we're gonna right. we're gonna need it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So. She's yeah. done. Yeah. Oh, I'm turn her back oh, over. Oh, I love, love. It looks like a. So I'm going to use my anti-static ah, okay. bag because she's got wings. You know, little, ah. little bits. This just helps to stop them from sticking together because okay. yeah. that's not. Yeah. We don't want that to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's quite big. So start from a distance so we can get a kind of an even temperature. Yeah. Uh, will we run out of time before we might run out of time uh, yeah. before we get there? Two and a half minutes we have. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. We should be fine. So she looks quite pasty right now. Yeah, <laughs> it is like, uh, And then. But here we go. And then. So. I remember the first time we did this on TV, it was with a giant butterfly. Wow. Yeah, brave. that was everyone's reaction. Yeah. It was it's a because like, it curled in yeah, uh, and then it came back out oh, again. Oh, at least it came out again. Yeah. Right so it was like it was coming to life. Yeah. Okay. So she's she's okay. looking a bit deformed at the minute, but oh. she's still moving. And, and while it's still moving, it's still shrinking. Yeah. When it stops moving, yeah. is when it's done. Yeah. So she's nearly there, and we want her flat. So I've got a nice big acrylic block, and I'm just going to place it on top. Yeah. So that's we we'll to make sure that it's, it's completely flat. flat. Yes. You don't want to squish it because you might. <laughs> you might. <laughs> yeah. Deform. You might. Yeah. You might. So then we just brush off the, the anti-static powder. Of course. Yeah. Oh, and then suddenly it's, it's almost like glass painting, isn't it? It is. So I've done a white oh, lace on craft. Oh, that card. looks good. And then we're going to just pop her. That looks amazing. On top. Oh, look at that. How could, uh, of course, Harmony is the uh, stamp that, um, you know, the beautiful fairy. The details are at the bottom of the screen. If you want the lace, a background, and the details are on the left of your screen. These are joy dots. Oh. The joy sticky dots, they're yeah. strong enough for shrink plastic. Oh, good. So. Now, of course, Vicky, come in, in because we have got seconds to fit the end of the show. Remember to check out those baskets for any of the items on the show, especially the clips tape, mask tape, or the rose um, stamps. Whichever items you have got your eyes on, do check out those baskets because that's the only way that you know that you are going to get them. Of course, Sarah and Vicky, we are going to see you. Well, if you are going to Samparama uh, in yes. Stevenage um, yeah. next Sunday. Next Sunday, yeah. 16th. Yeah. So, and there's a lot of make and take. Remember, uh, Joe Channon is going to be there. Dianas is going to be there. So please do have a go. Go, go to there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Amy. you. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. Uh, and I, of course, we will see you very soon after the break. Indeed, after the break, we will see you with Felton, with Frankie and Sydney. Of course, Alex is going to be doing that hour. Then at 9 p.m., we have the quilting on the go, Wednesday special, with that amazing mini art.